You want to talk about major hypocrisy? Here's a gigantic piece, monolithic, Olympic size, industrial strength bullshit. It's this. What are you hearing right now in the media regarding Syria and America? That America are trying to convince the world that Assad is going to use chemical weapons apparently again. No proof, no evidence he ever used them in the first place. Anyway, he's going to use them again as a prelude for them to attack Assad. Okay. Now, I don't even want to go down the line where the Americans shot down a Syrian plane in Syrian airspace. No one seems to want to talk about that and that bullshit, okay? And how out of wood and cheeky that was. We're not going there. They want to attack Assad because they said he's going to use chemical weapons. I personally don't believe Assad's using chemical weapons on his own people. It's not the best way to court um, support, is it? Anyway, we all know what the CIA are up to in Syria and um, what the American agenda is here. And it's got nothing to do with a tyrant, a dictator, or um, anything of that nature. What you've got here is them wanting to change the government to suit their own ends for resources and monetary, uh, you know, banking and systems, etc. Anyway, here's the thing. You ready for this? I don't know if it escaped anyone's um, eyes, ears, but do you know what the Americans dropped on people in Syria? White phosphorus. What's white phosphorus? It's a chemical. That's right. They used a chemical weapon on Syrian people. United States of America. So of course there's the hypocrisy and the double standards right there. Using chemical weapons on a country, they're accusing of using chemical weapons. I mean, it's, it's beyond stupid and offensive to people like myself and uh, your, your intellect. Now, Russia, I made it very clear that they will shoot down any planes in government airspace, Assad's government airspace, Russia. They've said to America, effectively, in this proxy war, because that's what's going on in Syria, all right, it's a proxy war, that they will shoot down any threat to Assad's government. And uh, they have the right to do that because they were invited there by that sovereign nation. America, they're not there on any legal basis, in my opinion. They weren't invited and they've got no right sticking their nose. But that's America. They love shoving their nose in other people's affairs. We all know that. But this is getting serious now because if Russia's going to shoot down a plane, and if it's an American one or NATO one or whatever, there's going to be issues. And this is what's building up and this is why everyone like yourself should be paying attention to. This is going to continue to the point where it may just go a bit too far. And this is not like North Korea and what's going on there. You see, in my opinion, the issue that we should be more concerned with is, is Syria and not so much North Korea. All right. Syria, OK, you have a right to govern themselves, OK, are being effectively pushed into a situation that may be irreversible because the United States of America. Now, anyone who knows me, I'm pro-America. Uh, but uh, their um, foreign affairs policies and what they've done globally around the world over the years, it speaks for itself. But this time round, this ain't no joke. This is not a joke, okay? Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the lies. Don't believe mainstream media when I tell you that Assad is going to use chemical weapons on his own country. This will affect you. This will affect me. This will affect the world. This is getting stupid now. Never has there been a time since the Cold War that Russia and America are looking to have such a standoff. And I'm tired of this. I ain't gonna swear and get on at this one. But I'm seriously tired of these warmongering psychopaths in America, these neocons, okay, with their agenda to get what they really ultimately want, okay? I mean, make your videos, write to your MPs, protest, demonstrate, stand outside in an embassy and do what you gotta do. But don't just sit down there and watch X Factor or Premiership Football while the shit is building up round your nose. Alright? Don't be wrapped up in Grenfell. Don't be wrapped up with Corbyn. Don't be wrapped up with Theresa May. Don't be wrapped up in uh, the LGBT uh, agenda. Don't get wrapped up in the Pride marches and many, many other things. Watch this picture, okay? Syria, Russia, and America in a proxy war. Alright? Because smaller things have caused wars, okay? Right, this time round, it's not a joke of a war. 
It's just not. <laughs>